How are you, baby? A little warm, huh? Yeah. Me too.
Hey, sweetheart. I heard about a con once. Crawled half a mile through an 18-inch sewer pipe. That's right, Tubby. He wasn't as fat as you are. <laughs> anyway, when he got to the end, there was a steel grate between him and the main sewer. So, Marilyn, what do you think he did then, huh? Ah. He just lay there, choking on the stink. And then, since he couldn't turn around, he crawled backwards, all the way back to where he started. You don't like that story, do you, Chubby? Too sad, huh? <laughs> well, a week later, he got hold of a file, crawled back in, and got out. <laughs> Two weeks later, he was picked up 500 miles away trying to stick up a loan company. Crazy bastard. That's a true story, sweetheart. Cross my heart, hope to die. Mister, you left your shaver. Keep it. Yours.
Yes, that looks very nice. Now you come again. Have a nice day. We have them in all kinds. Yeah, thanks. Hey, here. Thank you. This is Wallace Walters, the fourth. Okay. Why not? This is Wallace Walters, the fourth. Nobody gets hurt. No. Here, gag her. No, no, please. Please, I mustn't be tied. I mustn't be gagged. I have very, very poor circulation. Gag her. Can't we talk it over? Now, why do you people always pick on the upper middle classes? Those jewels are an investment.
baby handles all right. Take a look at your scar, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, hey. That's a good-looking scar. Yeah. How'd you get that, huh? Chubby, Tubby, he's as big as you are, and he only took a week and a half. So now get so smart. And sweetheart, sweetheart, you're gonna be the quickest of all, aren't you? an obstacle course. Uh, shouldn't be too hard for a soldier to bum a ride around here. making for North Would White River Junction be any help? Good. Okay. You in the war? Not right now. Quite a ways. How about you? I just took a bath. <laughs> to let somebody else do the driving for a change. She'll do. She can't be their mother. Did you see the bald ones last week? Who? Channel 4 and 6. We get her better on 6. I don't watch much TV. We stay up late every Sunday. Your mother spoils you. My sister. Neither. I'm taking care of them for the summer. Would you like me to take a look at that boiler? 
Might just be a simple job. I hate to impose on you. No sweat. Pay you back for the ride. If you don't mind, thanks. This the only route back to the highway? No, two other ways. To the supermarket and the airport. You have an airport up here? Things are looking better all the time. Where's the boiler? Down here. You want a beer? When I finished. Water, 15, 20 minutes. Terrific. You could be a plumber. 8.50 an hour. I'll take one beer. Yeah, she's pretty. Okay, get him up. Robbie! How the hell did you get hold of that? It's your army pistol, right? Somebody might have been killed. Call the boiler repair guy. Tell him it's all taken care of. Oh, yes, right. Mrs. Lane? Yes, I called earlier about a broken boiler. A straightforward job. A friend came and did it, so you can tell your husband. No, if there's any further trouble, I'll be sure. See these? To... Robbie, where did you get them? Excuse me, Mrs. Lane? Yes, here, goodbye. Robbie, where did you find those jewels? Did you take them? These aren't yours, are they? Where did you get them? They're beautiful. I stole them. You stole them? I walked into this lady's apartment. I took her jewels and tied up her servants. You see, she didn't have any cash. I'm on the run. I broke out of jail. You're a convict? They catch me again. You... Seriously, this is a joke. Yeah. Here's the punchline. The phone!
What are you going to do to the children and me? I don't know yet. Show me, where are we on this map? We came off the highway at this fork. Can we go to the pond? Look, these children are my responsibility. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Anyone come here? Visitors? No. Okay. We take it easy for a while. See what we come up with. You hear me? No trying to split for help. Help from where? Can we go to the pond? I promised them a swim before dinner. How far is the pond? It's across the road. Okay. Swim. Robbie, Janie, get your things on. Double quick. We'll see you shortly. You'll see me now. So then I, I took this girl to this amusement park, and, and I, I won her a panda bear shooting over ducks for a 22. <laughs> she, she looked terrific with that, that big bear. It was almost half her size. And then I said, let's, let's go on a roller coaster. But, but she'd never been on one before, and, and she didn't want to go because she was scared. So, so I talked her into it. And, and finally, we got on, me and, and her and that big bear. And, and on the first swoop down, she, she grabbed onto me and started screaming. And I held her and her bear that whole ride. And, and when we got off, she was OK. And, and she asked me how I could do that, not hold on to the safety bar. And, and I said it was easy. Come on, let's go again, and I'll show you. And she said, OK. And, and so we went. And I never touched a bar that whole ride. And she laughed and screamed and cried and, and thought I was the bravest, greatest son of a bitch in the whole world. My name is Donna. Frank. 
I'm going to dry off now. Could you carry me back to the house, convict? Allie. Oh. <laughs> you thought I couldn't swim. Yeah. Wine. I know some guys sell their mother for a barrel of wine that big. Were you serving a long sentence? Fifteen years. Twelve left to go. Plus they'll throw in another five for the breakout. If they catch you. Why shouldn't they? You could go anywhere. Do anything. You're young enough to start a new life. Look. Khan breaks out. How does he know he's escaped? So he's undercover for a couple of days. No cop sitting on his tail. But you see, that's the time for him to pull another job. Get nabbed again. Would you steal if you were rich? You're a thief. He ain't ever rich. Seems heartless. Fifteen years for stealing. Armed robbery. If you do think of the future, there must be something there other than a cell. Cage. Don't you want to be something? You mean like you? Bitch, you're choking to death. Come here. breaks out. So he's under cover for a couple of days. How does he know he's escaped? How does he know he's escaped? No cop sitting on his tail. But you see, that's the time to pull another job and get... Pull another job. If only I could lie back, close my eyes, sleep. in less than four hours. 
Frank, this is, this is Tom Archer, my friend. Friend? And this is Frank. He fixed the boiler. He's a real convict. A convict? Where, then? I'm here for the weekend. I guess you are. What's he holding you by force? He hasn't used any till now. And the pigs are after him? Who knows? Poor guy. He doesn't look so tough to me. That commune I told you about in Wyoming, they're expanding. Today, New Mexico and Colorado are out of reach. It falls a long way off. It's not a big drug scene, if that's what you're hesitating about. And the pigs leave them alone. Look how you left that hot water running. Hey. Slow down. Might get jumpy. Dent your fender. This is a private conversation. How long are you planning to stick around, anyway? I'll keep you posted. Isn't it dangerous for a wanted man to hole up in one spot? Excuse me. Robbie? Janie, your sandwiches? Convict, can you fix this? Let me see it, Robbie. You can fix it. Fix it. Want some more? Look, it's none of my business what you've done or where you're going. That's right. You wanted to get to White River Junction? I'll take you there now. In half an hour, you can be on the road again. I'll come straight back here. You'll be in the clear. I'm not going any place. You neither. I mean it. This is my last offer. After this, you can... You don't have to suspect me in terms of telling anybody. Doesn't make sense. This big talker's her boyfriend. What does she see in him? Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to say goodnight to the convict. My car. I'm giving it to you. I won't report it to the insurance company till Monday. That gives you three full days, more. What do you say? You, uh... One of these young radicals. I don't go all the way with the extremists. It the uh, rich, huh? Why not? They're the exploiters. But hit the rich who live someplace else. Don't shit on my doorstep, right? I don't want trouble here, it's true. It's not a question of being scared. There's too much at stake. Donna and I, for more than a year now. That Robbie, he was so excited he'll be up all night. Donna. No. The kids get you all tensed up. Well, it's still early. No. Hey.
am I doing? Sitting here like a dummy, waiting for something that ain't ever gonna happen. thought they were beautiful. <laughs> so did Mrs. Wallace Walters before, I guess. you had left. So did I. You still have some beef? No. No, thanks. How about wine? It's a bit softer at night. Wine? Okay. My daddy's coat fits you. Well, Lord of the Manor. More milk. There is no more milk left. Ah, oh, damn it. We're practically out of everything. I do have coffee. About milk? Frank? Sure. Once and for all, we can't sit around here indefinitely.
get milk for your coffee. The only place to get milk's in town. That's right. You trust us? I trust nobody. We all go together. Stay together all the time. I mean business, that goes for the kids, too. I'm not a kid. Sure, all we need is a running gun battle with the pigs while Donner and the kids are along. You must be a wanted man by now. You drive. Your watch accurate? To the second. I'll take it. It's a 21st birthday present. I'll take it. Jesus Christ, baby. How are you for cash? Bad shape. If you could use, I don't know, fifty dollars? Fifty bucks? You might need it out there in Wyoming. Please. Hello? Hello. This is Mr. Edmonds. He manages this branch. Tom Archer and... Hi. Tom's Hello. uncle, Frank Archer. How do you do, Mr. Archer? this? Uh, not forced, is it? <laughs> Frank here, 40, 50. Forget it. We can do better than that. Is it right if we go back now? Or do we have to expose the children to more danger? Which way's the airport? Over to 12A. Let's go. Hey, well, look at that. Let him look at the plane. plane. I wonder if we can go inside. Come on, Tom. 
Hey, don't try and fly away. You know where the charter pilots hang out? In that building. My father uses them now. You want a private plane for your uncle in Toronto this afternoon. 335. Find out how much. Toronto? To David Frank. Get going. Toronto, what then? I'm in Toronto. What about the 35 cents a mile fare? Let's get some drinks for the kids. Could you put those things away, please? A snappy little bank. Don't let it give you ideas. We can take it. We? Bank closes at 3 o'clock. We go in at five minutes off. Out again at 3.10. Not a minute later. You can't walk into that kind of bank like an old-time hood and stick it up. It's all steel and electronics. 3.10. That gives me 25 minutes to get to the airport. On the other side. What other side? Hey. Hey, nothing doing. If, if you cooked up some crazy scheme, go ahead on your own. We leave it too. That gives us just over an hour to kill. Look, the money in that bank belongs to working men. Farm laborers, employees at the mill. Look, we skipped breakfast. Let's have a good lunch, huh? Donna, please. I feel sorry for him, too. But Jesus, this is not the revolution. This is a small-time crook. The jails are full of them. So are the streets. There's no sense in making things too easy for them. No. You've changed, haven't you? I've changed? You ought to be jumping for joy to have found a comrade in the over-30s generation who isn't a patriot and law-abiding citizen. You don't like him because he practices what you preach. Who says I don't like him? He's got plenty of nerve. They all have. All right, I don't precisely like him. I kind of admire him. He could shoot that bank manager right in front of your eyes. 
Couple minutes or two, everybody shape up. Okay, okay, let's go. Mr. Barlow, we're oh, in a yeah. rush. We have an appointment. Sure, sure. We'll see you later, all right? All I need is a little wire. Repair the old chicken coop before the little scoundrels escape. Here, give him this. No, no, more than I need. Keep it. Tried to call ahead. Uh -huh. Couldn't get through, though. Shall I call the phone company for no. you when I get back? No, no, no. Don't bother. Slow people. I can remember when you got service in these parts as soon as you... You bastard! All right, all right, come on, let's go, let's go! You, 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 come on! Move it! Come on, come on! Who is this? Come on, come on! Move it, hurry up! Come on, come on! What did you do to them? They'll be quiet 40, 50 minutes. Come on. Let's go. It's like blowing his head off. All right, I want everybody over there. Quick, let's go. You two, come on, let's go. Cheap stretch rope. All right, in there. Move it. Open it up. 
I don't have the combination. It has to be opened by an officer from our divisional head branch. Die in ammonia. hostages. I need exactly 30 minutes. Anybody here talk to the police? Set off an alarm before then. These three are dead. Their deaths are on your head. Kid, you on yeah, the level? Sure. He's got. What do you mean? Up on the hill. Work dream, not a hitch, not a flaw. You are marvelous. Frank, a suggestion. Next stop, the airport, then the other side. Drop the kids off at the house. They'll handicap you, and you'll reach the airport just as soon that way. No, we want to go with you. In a plane. And swap cars. Take Tom's in case anyone sees us in this. No, please. Lose my hostages? You'll still have me as a hostage.
anything about the escaped convict? You bet. Yes, sir. He's armed. Okay, switch cars. Fast. Charlie 1, suspect with hostages now passing checkpoint 4. Three, Charlie. 